Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the Windows Update Error Code 0x8024016 that you are experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. And the error message reads that there were some problems installing updates, but we'll try again later. If you keep seeing this and want to search the web or contact support for information, this may help. And then it will say in parentheses 0x8 zero two four zero zero one six so this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process and without further ado let's go ahead and jump straight into it so all you have to do is open up the search menu type in troubleshoot best match should come back with troubleshoot settings go ahead and open that up on the right side you want to go ahead and select other troubleshooters just go ahead and left click on that and then underneath most frequent select the windows update troubleshooter here to run And then once that's done, go ahead and select close. And then you want to close it out of here. And you want to restart your device. And hopefully now if you attempt to check for updates, your issue should be resolved. So if you go ahead and open up the search menu and type in update, go ahead and select check for updates. And then hopefully Windows Update should be able to go ahead and check for install updates at this point. If you're still having a problem, something else you can check here as well would be to open up the search menu and type in services. Best match should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to go down to the background intelligence transfer service. Go ahead and double click on that. Make sure startup type is either set to automatic or automatic delayed start and that the service status is in fact running. If it's not either one of those, you want to go ahead and either start the service or set startup type to automatic or automatic delayed start. If they're both set to something different than what I'm suggesting, then change both of those settings, obviously. And then you would select apply and OK to save that. And then you go down to the Windows Update service. So you're going to have to scroll down here, double click on that. Set startup type to automatic and service status again should be running. So pretty straightforward, just have it exactly like you see it on my screen. So let's apply and OK, check for updates, and then again, hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem if you then proceed to check for updates. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.